what's going on guys if you guys are new to the channel my name is Jules and today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how to keep your wheels clean for less than hundred and fifty dollars so the reason why I started making this video is there's a lot of you guys the supporters who watches my videos and a lot of you guys who are I've seen my car at a car show or car meet a lot of you guys have came up to me and showed me so much love and support and a lot of you guys have been asking me the same question as well about how do i keep my car clean what kind of products do i use especially since i daily this car and when you guys look at the car the car looks very clean it looks flawless every single time so i'm gonna share with you guys what i use today to keep the wheels clean so i'm gonna start off by saying um, a little tip on some preventive maintenance if you guys get a brand new set of wheels so if you get as you guys have been watching the videos i have aftermarket wheels on my 2011 honda civic si it's the eighth generation when i bought these advanced rgd 2s i ceramic coated them right away as soon as i got them so the ceramic coating that i had used was Christum serum light so i recently just ordered this ceramic coating I have some stuff that I want planning into ceramic coat very soon that I'm gonna uh, share with you guys here. But this product, I have applied this for this year since March and it's what, December now? And this product has still been holding up very strong. So highly recommend guys, you guys get a new set of wheels. Highly recommend you guys to ceramic coat them right away. It will make your whole job so much easier when it's time to wash your car every single time. And I will definitely say, part of a car that takes up a lot of your time will be wheels especially like the tires and wheels and making sure that it looks spotless and it looks very clean and looks brand new every single time i'll say wheels and tires take most of your time when it comes to washing your car if you're new to the channel i'm gonna share with you guys my 2011 hn honda civic si and it is right here it's parked up over here the carbon fiber hood has a front lip on here all right retrofitted headlights and then these are the Advance RGD 2s. As you guys can see, there's a bunch of rust from the rotors. I have the spoon calipers. And as you can see, the wheels are filthy right now. And I'm gonna walk around the whole car for you guys. And this thing looks very clean and spotless. Very clean. It looks very clean even though it's dirty right now. It looks very clean all around. Also guys, I'm gonna put these two uh, YouTube channels in the description and I highly recommend you check them out. The thing about me is guys, I love to find out different ways of how I can make my job a lot easier when it's coming to clean my car. So there are some channels on YouTube of professional detailers. It has a lot of experience and some of the channels are Matt from an Upset's Garage. I know a lot of you guys probably watch them and there's another guy named auto fanatic he has a shelby gt350 so those two guys they have some awesome videos on doing their reviews and their opinions on some of these uh products that's out right now for keeping your car clean basically both of their cleaning math basically identical or almost the same but some of the products are a little bit different so i basically took both of their ideas i'm telling you guys to check them out if there's a, something that i've seen i'm not gonna steal someone's idea and not reference them and give them credit so i'm definitely going to give them the credibility to say like look this is the method that i use as well and it definitely helps keep my wheels looking clean every single time i wash my car and every time you guys check out my wheels they look spotless they look amazing all right guys so the first product that we have here is the brush this product right here this is what i use to clean the tires from all of the debris the grime any type of tire gel or any type of stuff that's on the wheel, I use this to clean the overall tire. And it's the perfect size to clean around the tires. The second thing is I use this. This is what you use to basically clean around the face of the wheel and the, around the rim of the, uh, the lip of the wheel. So this is what I use. It's very nice, really soft, will not scratch your wheels. It has like a little uh, pad in here. You can stick your hand in here and you can clean the face of the wheel this is probably the best thing here the wheel woolies there's three of them in three different sizes i use this size the most this is probably for a 
really bigger uh, wheel, like a 20 or so. But this for like 17, 18s, 19s, and so on, this is probably the perfect size for you. And this is another size as well, but this is probably good for like vents. So I would definitely say vents is probably the ideal for this. So we cover the face of the wheel, inside of the wheel, so underneath, inside the wheel where the rotor is, you can get in all different little angles with this. And to be able to get the wheel lug nuts and the valve stem, this will do the trick of getting inside of the lug nuts where you can't reach or the valve stem where you can't reach in between the crevices. So very ideal for this. So these are the main products that you need. Now I'm gonna show you the products that I use to wash the car with. So I'm gonna share that with you guys as well today. So the first step is filling up the bucket with soap, making sure it's clean. Add some Adam, Adam's car shampoo in there. That's filled right now. I know some of you guys are probably wondering why I don't use like a wheel cleaner that you just spray on the wheel and it turns like a different color like purple. Um, uh, they are pretty nice and they keep the wheel looking clean, but I don't want to turn the life down of the ceramic coat, coating, if you guys understand. I don't want to make the ceramic coating even weaker. Com uh, plus, I gotta also worry about the elements of the weather, but I don't also wanna strip it with the wheel cleaner using it over and over and over again. So that's why I don't use a wheel cleaner and I just use like a car shampoo to keep keep the wheels looking clean. So first thing going in the bucket, this is going in the bucket. The the brush for the lug nuts and everything, the lug nuts and the valve stem, that's going in the bucket. And to clean underneath the wheel, that is going in the bucket. So every wheel that I clean, I will use the hose basically to wash it off before I put it back in the bucket. So I'm not gonna clean the wheel and not wash it off before I put it in that bucket. Cause remember, there's only one bucket. We don't, we're not using two buckets, there's only one bucket. So you're gonna clean it, wash it, clean it off, put it back in the bucket, next wheel. So I'm gonna share that with you guys, let's go. And the brush is gonna be to the side. So the first thing is washing the wheel down. The tire, everything. Getting inside of the rim, behind the rim, everything. Here comes the Adams Tire Rubber Cleaner. So I'm going to spray it down just like this. I'm gonna try to stay the edge of the tire, that this is very strong. And here's the brush. I'm gonna spray some water on this. And I'm gonna spray some on here. So, just gonna agitate the tire. And sometimes, so I'm not hitting the rim, I'm gonna take my time, I'm gonna go sideways. If your car's too lowered, my car's on air suspension, so I can air the car up so I can get a little bit above the tire. You can also move the car back and forth so it has enough space, but I'm gonna try not make the video too long here. But that's it for now. You do not have to go super crazy with this at all. You do not have to. You can move the wheel back and forth, but for today's presentation, I'm just gonna leave it as that. So I can show you guys the product. So after that, I'm going to hose it off because I do not want whatever got on the rim to sit on there. So now, I don't know if you guys can see on camera, but there's a lot more, have like a darker matte, cleaner finish. Now, the wheel time. So what we're gonna start is, we're gonna start with this, and we're gonna start cleaning inside of the rim, then the face, and then the lug nuts and the valve stem. Here is the wheel woolly. We're gonna go inside of the wheel to clean it. 
and I can see a lot of the dirt from the rotors are coming off really nice so I'm gonna start from inside of the wheel like this and go side to side and then come back out same thing over here you do the same thing for the front wheels with a bigger caliper as well this can fit right past the spoon caliper or the back of it or sometimes you might have to move it because it might not be that little spot you can't reach but most of the time i can reach uh all sides with even the big caliper in the front being there and then this plastic piece will not damage your car because it's made out of plastic and it's very strong and it's it's not going to hurt the wheel at all so if you hit the wheel by accident it's not going to affect it at all sometimes put my hand in the mitt but most of the times i'll hold it like this and just wash the face of the wheel so i'll start in the middle where the uh, center cap is start in the middle starting on top of the spokes make sure i get in the middle real good on top of the spokes I know each wheel is gonna be different. I like wheel. I like wheels that are pretty simple and easy to clean. A lot of the aftermarket rims, you guys probably can see for me, like it's pretty like a six spoke wheel, pretty easy to clean. Now I'm gonna do the inside of the wheel like this. So I'm gonna do the outside of the rim, the sides, and I could get it. Because how wide the wheel is, I can get behind it as well. So it's gonna look like that. All right? Then we're gonna do the lip itself. So for the lip, I'm gonna go from the inside of the lip. I'll try to show you guys a good idea. So from the inside of the lip, I'm gonna go like this. And then after a while I do the same side, I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna choose a different part of this mat to clean. I'm not gonna keep cleaning on one side to avoid scratching and other types of debris on there. So that's what I'm gonna do. Flip it. And now we're gonna get the edge, the close edge of the lip. Flip it. I see like little black dots on there. They're coming off very easily. Flip it. So pretty easy. It looks brand new already looks pretty clean I'm gonna wash this off again this is gonna get washed and then put it back in a bucket here is what you're gonna use to clean the lug nuts these are the neochrome lug nuts that I have on there I'm trying to bring it up a little bit closer so you guys can check it out but you're just gonna go and clean the inside of this part where you can't reach Same thing up here, can't reach. Keep the uh, lug nuts looking clean and brand new all the time. And now the valve stem, the valve stem is up here. You can't clean behind the valve stem at times or the corners. So this is also a great tool to clean. So what I'm gonna do is just spin it. Spin it like that. Same thing with neochrome uh, lug nuts. I'm just gonna spin it. Spin it. Spin it. Spin it. Spin it. Here, same thing, spin it. And it's gonna look clean. All right, guys, but with those simple steps, we are finished with the wheel. That's it. So we've done the tires. We have done the inner barrel of the wheels. We have done the face. We have done the size of the face of the wheel. We have done the lip. We have done the lug nuts and we have done the valve stem. So we have cleaned basically everything right now. So all we gotta do now is just wash it off. And I'm gonna show you guys my drying process as well. We're gonna start back at the tires again. That's it. I'm gonna leave you guys take a look at it. All right, so now that you look at the wheel, as you guys can see how the tire has like a very clean matte black finish. Adam tire and rubber cleaner definitely makes the car uh, 
bring the tire back to life from it looking dull looks like a brand new tire um and then i'm gonna give you some close-ups of the lip and everything still beating up real nice the neochrome lug nuts inside of the wheel well you can look at the sticker back there still looks brand new the sticker does and the lip the lip still looks brand new all right to dry the wheel i will have three types of microfiber towels i try to make them different one will be for the tire one would be for the inner barrel and one will be for the face but i'll show you guys my method of using certain parts of the rag so let's begin i will ball it up like this and start drying the tire and of course it's going to look black like this of course because all the debris the grime whatever type of uh gel or any type of tire gel or dressings you guys use for your uh tires and i will flip it if it's not drying enough But now let's do the inner barrel of the wheel. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. What I'll do is I will use this tool again that it be used to clean the inner barrel. And I'm gonna make sure that it's ringed out and pretty dry. And what I'll do is, right, I will take my cloth and I'll do uh, a suction, have it like this. And then I will put it in here and wrap it around to something like this. So what I would do is to be able to dry the water up, I would just put it in here and it should be enough space to get underneath the uh, the dust boot, the dust uh, part for the rotor. And I saw the uh, dust so it could go down to the bottom of the barrel. So I'll go it's east side, this side, left to right, and it's picking up all the water making sure it's clean underneath here. I'm just going to left to right. And be careful if your car has like sensors and has an electric parking brake. I know a lot of these cars now have like an electric parking brake. And sometimes I'll, I'll twist this and try to go around it a little bit better. Right, get the edges. So I'll make it look like this every single time. Now we will do the face of the wheel, right? So now we're gonna do the face. So we're gonna fold it in half and we're gonna fold it like this. So it's gonna be half. And then we're gonna bend this part in like this and we're gonna start drying. So we're gonna do again, start from the middle. looks dry already start from the top of the spokes I'm gonna work my way on to a different part of this whole flat part I'm gonna work over here and dry it now because it's gonna get too damp And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna start working my way down here. So right now it looks pretty uh, dry on the top pieces. Get those corners, corners. Now we're gonna go in the inner spokes, just like that. Just put like a little pressure on it to make sure it soaks it up. Look, there's still dirt and debris somewhere, somehow. Go to a different part. Now we're going to go to a different part. We're gonna do the same thing on the, the last part. So it's gonna look like this. And now we're gonna start doing the lip. So for the lip, um, I like to try to start from the top and work my way down. So if the water does fall, you're not doing it twice. So it's gonna be like this. 
we're gonna work the section like this. We start by the this valve stem since it's already here. And what we're gonna do is start from the inner, right? And we're gonna stop. Then we're gonna flip this and work it from the other side. Because you guys don't wanna keep uh you don't wanna keep going around and run for any scratches or debris to get up in there. So I'm gonna go from the other side and get the inner lip. Then we're gonna work our way down here. And make sure you guys can see this. Yep. You guys can see this. So I'm going to do the lip and I'm already almost to the bottom of it again. And there might be some dirt, a little bit of debris and stuff that you might catch in there. Flip it to the other side. You don't want to keep wiping with that same side. So you can get scratches and stuff in the wheel. So now we're going to do the outside of the lip. Flip it. I already see some already. I'm going to keep checking my rag. So that's what I like to do. I keep checking my rag for dirt, debris, so it doesn't scratch up the wheel. And the wheel looks brand new every single time. Flip it. I'm looking for cleaner sections every time. Flip it. And pretty much that's it, guys. That's it. And then you still got this back piece right here. Um, I will find the black piece is actually black back there. So I will go on a cleaner section another section on here and just get behind here and of course it's, the water is only beating up here now we come to the wheel this is how it looks it might see a little bit of water right here maybe i missed some spots right there right here and right here just come back over it and try it But still, there you guys go. Looks brand spanking new. Even inside of the, down here, where you can see this. Looks brand spanking new. Look at the lip. Looks brand new every single time. Don't see no kind of scratches or nothing. It looks brand new, no curb rash. As you guys can see the tire to tire. It's very clean, there's no ashiness inside the barrel and everything the wheel everything looks brand new still feels smooth like day one man <laughs> that looks good that looks sick and just got to do this for all four tires and there you guys go this is how to keep your wheels looking brand new clean all the time for less than 150 dollars so if you guys like this video definitely smash the like button and subscribe for more content on the way I'm sharing with you guys the cleaning process and how to clean the whole car and how I keep the car looking clean all the time. But as you guys can see, I'm gonna show you guys that wheel wheelie can get behind here. I could get point the wheel wheelie this way. It will get inside the wheel. That way, get inside the wheel. I use that little black uh, to clean the face. I do it for the spoon calipers and I'll be able to get to the top because it has a lot of room in this uh, type of wheel. But I can still clean the uh, caliper and the caliper looking clean as well. So gotta love it so comment below guys if you guys use a similar uh method on cleaning your wheels or comment below if you guys have been looking for a nice way on how to keep your uh, wheels clean and you really enjoy this one so comment that below let me know smash the like button guys it really helps the channel a lot if you want to see more content definitely subscribe because i definitely got a lot more content on the way i can't wait to share with you guys what's coming to the channel but that's it, guys. If there's anything that you guys want to achieve, find your inner drive, the thing that drives you to take a step toward your goals every single day, make it happen.